Hello everyone, my name is Whistler and welcome back to another episode of my Hardcore series. Today, we'll be doing some much needed landscaping, as well as uh, some other stuff to do with villagers. I want to set up my villager block factory up a little bit more, get a bunch of clerics in so that I can get a lot of glowstone, because I want to use that for hidden light sources, because I don't know if anyone had noticed, but my base is filled with a uh, torch spam, which isn't good. And how on earth am I doing this? I'm not touching the keyboard right now, everyone. I'm, I'm literally just angling my mouse up and down. Okay, I didn't know I could do that. That's, uh, that's a bit weird, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> uh, swimming mechanics are so weird sometimes. And another thing I would like to do is I would really, really like to remove this chest monster. It's appalling, it's horrendous, it's, uh, it's actually in the way. Like, I can't build things in the places that I want to because this thing is just sitting right in the middle of it. <laughs> So I'm going to have to move that at some stage today as well. The landscaping project that I have in mind for today is I think I would like to cover up this river. Like, instead of having just like a cliff wall going down to the river, I think it would be really cool to have like an underground river. I'm not sure where that zombie spawned. That's a bit worrying. I hope you didn't spawn on this side. Is everything supposed to be spawn proof on this side? <laughs> but yes, I'd like to I'd like to cover up this river by landscaping it. So I think that would look really cool to have like an, an underground river sort of. And then that would also give me a lot of space to build some cool structures as well. And another thing I got in the last episode was a turtle helmet. So what I have in mind for that is it's going to go straight into my chest of valuables. So let's pick up that turtle shell put it in here. There's all sorts of valuable stuff in here, like my first wooden pickaxe, uh, the first iron sword, which is almost dead, plenty of different armor sets, which I have since disposed of, the first diamond, my first log, lots of cool stuff in here. And I think if I'm going to be curing villagers today, then I'm, I'm going to need more golden apples. So <laughs> let, let's just craft those up a bunch, I guess. And the reason I want to cure the villagers is because I'd actually would really like the glowstone trade to be one emerald. And at default, it's at four. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of villagers out here. And I've got to move the librarians too, I guess. But yes, I need to set up some of these fit villagers into their designated spots and move those librarians to somewhere else because they're not actually wanted in there. I don't actually want them in there. Not in the slightest. So let's just build a little pen for them and we'll cart them over here. Right, get the minecart out. Please pick them up like this. Can it do it? Yes, it can. Right, okay. Let's just break the lectern and the trapdoor and we'll send him on his way to his new little pen, his holding pen outside of the, of the factory. <laughs> and we'll send this guy next. But is he okay? Yes, he's okay. And I'll just flap this, these areas because I don't want him walking out. So yeah, let's just break that main cart. Oh! Get, get, back in, get back in, get back in. Just, just, right, thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, that was close. Right, second guy now. Right, we've got him. Let's just break the lectern again and the trap door. And let's see how this goes. Is he okay? No. Oh. <laughs> oh dear, that's my fault. Oh, right, okay, so I've still got the Efficiency 5 guy, but I think I just killed the villager with uh, Feather Falling 4. <laughs> Oops. I was trying to stop, I was trying to get him into a situation where he'd uh, pop out of his minecart without jumping straight out of the little pen. Why is this guy discounted? I've not cured him at all. And, oh. <laughs> okay, well, I could, I could save this villager. But the fact that he's done this to himself, I, I think I'll just let natural selection take its course. <laughs> I'm going to need to block that up. I don't want villagers walking into there. <laughs> That's my water elevator. It's not supposed to be theirs. Right. Let's cover that up. Right. So, subject number one will be you, sir. Let's get this potion ready, throw that, and cure him. And on his way. And the reason why I want a lot of clerics in my villager block factory is because they sell glowstone, as well as a lot of other useful stuff, like lapis and redstone and some other stuff as well. And they can also buy nether wart and rotten flesh from you. So, you know, it's just good, good to have a lot of these guys and also to cure them a bunch of times. But for today, I think I'll only do them one time each because really you want that rotten flesh tray to be at one emerald rather than 32 or whatever it is. <laughs> Curing them once doesn't really tend to do very much. I need more potions! Just brew those up a little bit more. Into the brewing stand you go. 
And in goes the eye. Oh, that's not an eye. Right, so this guy's cured, so let's just send him on his way. I think I'll, uh, I think I'll change the system up a bit. I think I'll send them over to their little holding pens as a, uh, as a zombie villager, so I'm not waiting around so much. I think that's the way to go about this. Let's just knock out these... Oh, quartz is insuminable. I keep forgetting about that. Mine out that rail, place the brewing stand, and let's break him out. He should be okay. Oh, okay. I've forgotten about that. They take the, the heart of damage from the roof. <laughs> I should probably take those blocks out. There we go. That way, they won't randomly die <laughs> when I knock them out of the minecarts. Right, and here we go. I've got six clerics so far, and we may as well start leveling them up. So, it's easy to get them straight to the glowstone trade. Just buy all of the redstone from these guys, and then after that, you move on to the next trade, and then the next trade, and there's always something for you to buy from these guys, and this guy is still a zombie, so I won't buy from him. But yeah, Lapis is the next trade, so we can just buy a lot of that. And then, if I'm not mistaken, the next trade is Glowstone. Oh, that villager is cured now. Oh, he was he was my, my old cleric. <laughs> yes, the next trade is Glowstone. This is the trade I wanted. So, that means I now have a really good source of that. I'll be able to use this for hidden light sources pretty easily, I think. Could cover it up with carpet or leaves or something. It's very easy to do. But yeah, you can get a pretty decent amount of glowstone from doing this. So I can't wait to fill this room up with clerics. <laughs> then I'll be able to get all the glowstone I could ever want in this world. <laughs> More than enough to suit my needs, I know that for sure. But for now, we'll move on. I don't want to spend too long at the start of this episode doing this. <laughs> so, I guess the next thing I would like to do is I'd like to move this chest monster. And, yeah, it, it needs moving. I think I'll try to reclaim the, the shulker boxes as well, just so that I have that available for random resources for projects. I can just take them out of the chest, stick them in the shulker box, and then run off to where the next project is. I like that idea. So, where would I like to place this chest monster? Well, beneath my feet. <laughs> out of sight, out of mind, means it's not in the way. So, I think I would like to clear this area out a little bit, and I'll just place the chests in rows, and I think I'll be able to tell where everything is if I sort it through, like, manually. And I know this isn't really, like, a, a good chest system, but yes, I may as well get started with the transfer. And I know this isn't, like, an automatic sorter or anything like that. I don't want to do one of those just yet. I know that I probably need one, but I don't have enough iron for that. <laughs> so let's just move the chest monster for now. And here we go. The chest monster is gone. Completely gone. I can now build whatever I would like up here. I can landscape without having to worry about chests being in the way. Ah, oh, this is so much better. And it also reveals a few things about my base, which is a little bit awkward, because I built them with landscaping in mind. But the chest monster itself is down here. It's a lot bigger than it was before, because <laughs> I've taken away the, the shulker boxes. Everything is in a chest now. Everything is sorted as well. I know where everything is, even though it looks like I probably shouldn't. Like that, this is the wood area, and then I've got the ocean area over here with all the coral and prismarine and stuff. And then this is like for my nether goods. And those are like quartz bricks and stuff like that. And here is all of the the various different rock types like granite and andesite and diorite. Although these are empty, I can get rid of those. <laughs> and a lot of gravel too, and coal. And then over here I've got lots and lots of stone. And then the chests on the left have lots and lots of dirt as well, which is what I'm going to use today for the landscaping. But yeah, if you look over here, I've built these structures with landscaping in mind. Like, I didn't want everything to be at the same Y levels. I quite like to have, like, random hills over here rather than, like, a plateau. So I've built these staircases like one block too high <laughs> at the moment, but I've done that with landscaping in mind. It wasn't done on accident or done to be bad on purpose, it was done for the future. Because I hope to transform the entire top of this plateau because it's way too flat. <laughs> I think I'd also like to be able to walk down into the sheep farm as well rather than walking up to it. So I think descending into it would be like, I think it would be a better experience. And why is there wool floating in that sheep farm? Oh, I must have messed up in the last episode. I placed hoppers and barrels thinking that I could put more shears in, and I think I've made a mistake. But it's an easy mistake to fix, so I just 
break the hopper and the barrel and we'll just move them to the right and then I shouldn't be having to deal with the hitbox of a hopper. Everything can continue as I planned it. That's the hope anyway. <laughs> uh, but yes, this idea should be better. There we go, the sheep farm has been upgraded to a quality that I approve of, which is good stuff. Now, I think I could probably build something substantial under this dirt floor at some point. I don't quite know what at the moment, but I can definitely fit things down here. But I guess at the moment I should probably f be focusing on structures on the surface that people can actually see, because it looks like I haven't really done much in a thousand day hardcore world so far. It's because all of this stuff is like custom terrain. I want to show off like buildings and stuff, you know? But yes, I think it's time that we move on to the time lapse of today. So, it's a landscaping project. I'm gonna make sure that nothing is flat around my base anymore. I'm gonna cover up the river so that the floor above my head joins up to the mountains. And I think that will turn out pretty well. I think I'm also gonna need to light up the mountains as well, so I'm not bothered during the making of this. But yeah, that's what I have planned in the time lapse coming today. Hopefully this looks much better than it did before. So let's go. I have fully landscaped my base and I think it looks a lot better now. It's no longer flat, however I do have a couple of issues with it. Like I went over the whole thing with bone meal trying to grow grass and now I've created a lot of flowers and it's just added a little bit too much of like random dots in the landscaping. Like it just adds to the torch mess really and I think I'm gonna have to get rid of all of them at some point. <laughs> Although I, I think I would quite like to build like a, a little city or a town around this place. Oh, pistons firing. My sugarcane farm is working as intended. But yes, so the landscaping is basically done. Well, most of it's done. I've still got the area like over there behind me, which I think I would like to touch up a little bit more. It's a little bit too hilly for my liking. I think I would like to build some stuff over there. So I've removed all of the tall grass because I think it was too, it was too in the way. Like I don't like tall grass too much. It's too tall. <laughs> But I have modified the entrance to my mine over here, so it no longer has me flying over the river all the time. I can just walk straight in, and I think that's a lot better. And I've also improved on the entrance to these tree tubes over here. No longer is it such an eyesore. <laughs> a random staircase that isn't even connected to the floor, it's not that anymore. Which is good, although I might extend it out a little bit because I'd hope to have like a path going around this building. And then this island, I think I might remove half of it over here because it's just, just a little bit too close. I think it would just be better if that was, well if half of it was ocean. Lit up a large portion of that mountain over here and I think at some stage I will remove those torches. I will need to slab up the entire mountain. So I don't particularly want the whole thing to be permanently lit up. I've got to look into other ways of spawn proofing than just the torch spam. But I did feel like I needed to... What is this lag? This is horrendous. Just let me shoot this zombie. <laughs> but yeah, I wanted to place a lot of torches so that I'm not bothered in my base at all. I, I had a natural barrier before, but I don't have it anymore. I think I'd also like to change up the structure of these hills over here. Because they're a little bit too square. 
So I think next time I might round those out a little bit, and I might even build a watchtower on top of one of them. I think that might be cool. I definitely need to add some more structures to this place, that's for sure. And I have to say, I've done something rather unintentional, but it's actually rather fun to just zoom along this river with an elytra. So what I'm thinking is that at some stage in this world, I make an elytra course, like through this uh, underground river that I've created. I think that would be rather cool. And I think if I decorate the river to be like... I think it would be a good idea if I turned it into like a lush cave river in like celebration of 1.17, the cave update coming next year. I think it would be cool to have this be like part of a an elytra course and to have that going on for a little bit. And then when I eventually put this world up for like a world download or whatever, at whatever stage that may be, you folks could have fun with it and try to beat like my time or something. I, th I think that would be like a cool project to do down here. I know I definitely have a lot of fun zooming along this uh, this river with an, uh, with an elytra and fireworks. It's definitely something worth me looking into. I'm looking forward to that. I don't know when I'll do it though. That's the thing. I might just work on it every now and then because it, an elytra course underground is definitely a big project to do. <laughs> and I have other stuff I need to do first, I think. But I would love to move on to this at some stage, definitely, for sure. To be honest, I almost feel like I'm playing on a different seed now. Like, this place looks nothing like how it did when I first started. Like, there was a river, the lake was flat and awful, there was no giant tree. Like, I have changed this so much over the last thousand days, it just looks plain because of the landscaping taking priority over building stuff. Although, I guess landscaping is an effect, like building. And I will get to building at some stage. Well, I hope to do that rather soon, actually. But at the moment, everything just sort of feels rather plain. Like, I haven't, it looks like I haven't been here for that long. But I have, that's the thing. <laughs> oh dear. I need to put a lot more work into this world, that's for sure. And I've noticed recently, I have not finished this building. Like, I have left a giant hole just here. <laughs> And it's got vines and a leaf block because of the trees I was growing inside. And yeah, this is this is not ideal, so I'm going to have to cover up this at some stage. <laughs> uh, I can't believe I forgot to do that. <laughs> Oops. And I did also find another cave during that time lapse. So I was working over here and I did find... Well, I heard a lot of noises, so I thought I would try to find out where they were. And I found this little cave down here. There were quite a few drowned in the pool. They weren't despawning because they picked up like bones and arrows. I don't know how on earth they managed to kill a skeleton. Like I'm not sure quite I'm not quite sure how the skeleton would have died. But I'll just collect this iron, because I haven't done so already. Although maybe the skeletons might have died from like an enderman placing a block and then updating gravel or something and then it's falling on top of skeletons and then the zombies just picking it up or something. I, I don't know. But it's interesting that it happened. However, it may have happened. But yes, that's one more cave lit up, which means my creeper farm is ever so slightly more efficient. Excellent. But yeah, I'm happy with what I've done today. I definitely feel like this world looks better than before. I guess now I can start building my little town. But for now, I'm going to go back to messing with the villagers. I want more clerics. <laughs> I need more glowstone so that I can replace those torches with their uh, hidden light sources. So let's just get a move on with that. Oh, there's so many villagers here now. <laughs> Why is there so many? Oh, they're going to be in the way. They're going to get in the way. They're going to take up minecarts too easily. And... Oh, dear. Oh, yeah, I've got to deal with these guys now before they overpopulate too much. That's for sure. So, yeah, let, let's get on with that, I guess. Right, just get this zombie out because he's not in that minecart at the moment. There we go. And, okay, this, uh, this zombie is the last one, I think. I don't have any more splash potions of weakness, so this is as far as I can go today. I can I can craft more, but I just I don't want to at the moment. This episode has gone on long enough. <laughs> but yeah, so this zombie is over here now. So I've added another 10, 11 villages for clerics, which I think is a pretty good number. This villager block factory is looking ever so more complete by the day, which I'm very happy about because I wanted this thing to make me rich, and it's definitely doing so. Right, so I guess now is the time that I get to naming a few more creepers. So I got a few suggestions that I liked from you guys, so let's just name a few name tags and we'll stick them on the creepers in the creeper tree. So the first one for today is Sea Reaper. Creeper, or... <laughs> However it is, the person wanted to say this. I think it looks cool. 
The Reaper. The Reaper Creeper. Another name is Sar Bomber, after the biggest nuclear bomb made by humanity. <laughs> and also Trinity. So I think there's a there's an obvious choice for who Sar Bomber is gonna be. <laughs> Clearly, this needs to be a charged boy over here. Oh, I'm a little bit frightened of these guys, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I've just lost my glass block. I'm gonna have to get that without this creeper exploding. But yes, so where's Sar Bomber? There's Sar Bomber. Name tag. There we go. Excellent. Let's just block that so the creeper doesn't see me and collect the glass block and we'll mark this guy as complete and then name tag the other two creepers as well. But yeah, that means we've gone from 12 creepers that still need naming to uh, nine. And you might be able to see from here, one of them is actually a charged boy. So if you've got any names that you think would be cool enough, the last charged creeper on the tree or for the other creepers on the tree, just just let me know and I'll see what I, I think about your suggestions. And, I'll, and if I like them, then I'll go on the tree. I'm afraid that's going to have to be it for today though, folks. So if you enjoyed this episode, then be sure to leave a like. And if you enjoy my content and would like to see more, then be sure to subscribe. I'd love to have you along for the ride. But on that note, bye. Thank you for watching.